Alright, in this segment of the video series for assigning WSFU to the building uh, as water distribution system, we're going to focus on one section of pipe for this point. We're going to look at the piece of pipe right before the water heater. And the unique thing about this piece of pipe is that we're going to be serving total loads to the plumbing fixtures downstream of the T, which would be past the T, meaning we're going to be serving both hot and cold. And we're also going to be serving hot loads to the fixtures upstream from this point. In other words, cold water is going to go down through here and then back out through the heater, and then it's going to go back upstream, which would be back towards the water meter, to the plumbing fixtures that have already been served by cold. So there's a kind of a unique uh, situation going on here where we have to accommodate for the probability of simultaneous use of both hot and cold on the water distribution system. Alright, so to do this, what we need to do is we need to take a look at the total load of the plumbing fixtures that are downstream from this T. So we'll focus on the T right here and we're going to go downstream. The water is going to flow past the T, so we're going to go downstream of that. And we're just going to look at the plumbing fixtures that are being served, and we're going to grab those total loads of those plumbing fixtures. All right. And remember, I earlier I had stated that the total loads are going to be those that are going to be circled on this drawing. All right. So what I did was I took a look at, of course, all the plumbing fixtures here, and I started out by making a list of all the downstream fixtures, and of course their total loads. So we had six labs. For a total of six WSFU. We had, of course, the hose bib, which was three quarter inch. We had a bathroom group. We had the drinking fountain. And we had uh, four water closets. And, of course, um, a service sink. So, with all of these fixtures, I took a look at again all of the total loads. I added them up. And at this point, the total load downstream is 42.75. Alright, now, we all understand that it's going to be serving both the hot and the cold for those fixtures. But remember, I said earlier that we also have to feed the hot load to the upstream fixtures. And those upstream fixtures are fixtures that have already been served with cold water. All right? And they also have hot water going to them. All right? So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back upstream, and I'm going to start to look for fixtures that are served by hot water. So I'm going to be coming back this way and I'm going to find out that this particular fixture here has been served with hot water. So I'm going to grab its hot load and you'll notice that the service sink is going to be included in there. The dishwasher is going to be included in there. The kitchen sink is going to be included in there. And of course all of the fixtures that are served with hot on the second level so what I did there was I made a list, and now I'm looking at hot loads only. So I went up to the second floor, and I grabbed the four labs, which you can see. And I grabbed just again, they're hot loads, so there's a 2 WSFU. I grabbed the servicing that's up there, and again, grabbed the dishwasher and the kitchen sink. So all of those are stated right here. Just spoke about the uh, first floor, which had the service sink, and it had the dishwasher and the kitchen sink. And again, I mentioned the wash pump a little bit earlier. So when you take all of the hot loads, the hot loads total out to 13 and a half WSFU. So now, knowing that, we can take those two numbers, the 42. 75 WSFU, which was again the total load of those fixtures downstream, plus the hot loads that we just looked at, which was 13.5, and when we add those two together, we end up with 56.25. That would then be load that has been placed on pipe number 
16 here, the piece of land below the Gilwater Yard, and 56 